He's a fashion icon turned critically acclaimed filmmaker, thanks to his first directorial effort, A Single Man. Seven years later, Tom Ford is at it again, this time tapping Amy Adams and Jake Gyllenhaal to star in his violent noir, Nocturnal Animals. The central theme of Nocturnal Animals is really about finding people in your life that mean something to you and not letting them go. You know, today's world, we throw everything away. We throw material things away, we throw people away, we throw things away a little too easily, rather than, you know, relationships take work. I've lived with the same person for 30 years. We have a wonderful relationship, but it took work. So uh, I don't let go of people in my life when I find people that mean something to me. And that's the most important thing in life. And this is a cautionary tale about where you might end up in life if you do let those people slip away. You have two imaginary worlds because we have a fictional novel. We're seeing it through the eyes of someone else who's reading it, who's projecting her own things into this. So it's a double layer and it's heightened reality. And so it's a lot of fun. My ex-husband used to call me a nocturnal animal. What ex-husband? I didn't know you had an ex-husband since when? A couple of years in graduate school. It's weird, I've been thinking about him a lot lately, and then recently he sent me this book that he's written, and it's violent, and it's sad, and he titled it Nocturnal Animals, and he dedicated it to me. I wanted this character to be sympathetic. It would be very easy to hate this character. Oh, she has all these things our culture says we should have, and she's not happy. Poor thing. You know, but I, she's really a victim of her own insecurity. She's a victim of her upbringing, as we see in the scene with Laura Linney. She falls back into what she thinks she should be, rather than what she really wants to be. And Amy's so sympathetic. You cannot not fall in love with Amy. And her face, by the way, we we're talking about her eyes. Um, she can telegraph her feelings with her face. And of course, this character is reading a book, and we need to know what she's feeling and how she's feeling and how she's reacting. I did something horrible to him. I left him in a brutal way. 